I want you to know, just before, just, just before the main video really kicks off, um, this whole thing started at 2.42 in the morning. I had this whole thing planned out, and then editing software glitched up, and I didn't like how that sounded, so I got rid of it all, and I had this whole bit. Do you see him? Yeah. Fucking inverse camera ass. See him? Nicholas Cage right there. I was gonna come out that closet. Hat on. Sit down. I should be asleep. I really should be asleep. This eye hurts so much, you have no idea. I really should be asleep. But, I'm doing this instead. I really hope this is worth it. Here we go. Um. There's a hundred and six of these, so I hope you're ready for me. <laughs> Alright, ready? We start off with Butcher's Crossing, which is a drama and a western. It's about a frontier epic about an Ivy League dropout as he travels to the Colorado wilderness. He joins a team of buffalo hunters on the journey um, that puts his life and sanity at risk based on the highly acclaimed novel by John Williams. And uh, Nick, Nick Cage is um, he, he's a star in this. It's, uh, Guess come now in 2022. <sighs> Retirement plan 2022. An action comedy where Ashley, played by Ashley Green, and her younger daughter Sarah, played by Thalia Campbell, get um, carried up in a criminal enterprise that puts their lives at risk. She turns to the only person who can help, the strange father, Matt, Nicholas Cage, our very, very beautiful, sexy man. Um, currently living off, living the life of a retired beach bum in the Cayman Islands, the reunion is fleeting as the... God fucking damn it, I didn't want to click the link. Oh yeah, just so you know, I'm reading the entire IMDb page for, for Nicholas Cage's all his acting credits and stuff. I'm not reading all that other stuff, like his directing credits, um, his self credits, which is another 144. Uh, his producing credit. I don't have that kind of time. I I, I still have some self respect, unfortunately. So, uh, if if you want, have fun on the IMDb page. Um, beach bum came an island shortly fleeting as they soon get tracked down to on the island crime boss Donnie very original crime name played by Jackie Earl Haley and his lieutenant Bobbo wow they're just great with names um, played by Ron Perlman as Ashley Sarah and Matt become entangled in an increasingly dangerous web Ashley learns her father um, has had a secret path that she knew nothing about uh, and uh, there was more to her father than meets the eye this this movie is going to be bad like I'm calling it early that movie is going to be really bad um, that's coming out in 2022 an untitled Joe Exotic project 
and um, yeah, that's all it says. I'm I'm guessing our boy, Mr. Cage, you know, probably one of gre the greatest humans to ever live. This this is giving me anxiety right here. One one second, you're going to see me do this. That's better. I'm guessing Nick Cage is going to play Joe Exotic. Or, as he's also known, the Tiger King. Um, Untitled Bap. <laughs> I have hair in my mouth. Ugh, I hate long hair. For that reason alone. But, Untitled Nicolas Cage slash Amazon Studios Project. Um, I don't trust that. It's going to be a TV series. I, I don't trust that one bit. Um, Pig. Oh, and that's also coming out in 2022. So is a Joe Exotic one. 2021, uh, Truffle Hunter lives alone in the Oregon, bleh, in Oregon. It's... Oregon, Oregon, it's Oregon, like I-A-N at the end of Oregon. I can't pronounce that. <laughs> a truffle hunter who lives alone in the Oregon wilderness uh, must return to his past in Portland in search of beloved foraging pig after she was kidnapped. And Nick Cade, this is a drama thriller. 7.0 on IMDb. So not bad. Willie's Wonderland, a movie I'm yet to see. A quiet drifter um, is tricked into a janitor job and is condemned to Willie's Wonderland. Mundane tasks suddenly become an all-out fight of survival after wave after wave of demonic animatronics. Fists fly, kicks land, titans clash, and only one side will make it out alive. And we all know it's Nicolas Cage. He's, he, there's no way he can't make it out of this. He's Nicolas Cage. It's, it's what he does, I, I guess, maybe. <laughs> um, prisoners of Ghostland. Um, oh, yay, short description. Notorious criminal must break an evil curse in order to rescue... An an abducted girl who has mysteriously disappeared. It's 3.39 in the morning. Um, Crudes, a new age. The prehistoric family, the Crudes, are challenged with the rival family, the Bettermans, who claim to be better and more evolved. Definitely on the watch list, even though, because I like the first Crudes. It, it was a pretty good movie. Ah, head's itchy. Jiu-Jitsu. After six years, an ancient order of Jiu-Jitsu fighters join forces to battle. A vicious race of alien invaders, but when a celebrated war hero goes down in defeat, the fate of a planet and mankind hangs in the balance. Why does it have to be a race of aliens? Why can't it just be like... I don't know. Like a fucking army of aliens or something. Cause, yeah, this this is um, this is what I don't understand about Attack on Titan either. Like, oh uh, uh, yeah, some spoilers for Attack on Titan uh, season three, I guess. Why don't they all just take off the armbands? Like, if they all take off the armbands all at once, and then they all charge into the city all at once, who's going to notice them? It's, it's foolproof, but yeah, like, why erase the aliens? Can't it be like, one hella strong alien, and they're all like, sorry, that's Jimmy over there. Fucking Jimmy. Come back here, Jimmy. And Jimmy's like, no. Ah, I'm, 
big and strong. Um, that was that, that was a tangent. Grand Isle. Uh, a young father is charged with murder. He must prove his innocence by calling fa a fairy twisted and dark night of events. <sighs> I'll reread that. A young father is charged with murder and must prove his innocence by call by recalling a very young, very twisted and dark night of events. Mm, primal. Frank's caught wildlife in a Brazilian trunk jungle. INCL, uh, 400 pounds white jaguar. He ships it to the ship, and um. Ships it on the ship. Bah. He ships it on the same ship as an arrested assassin. The assassin breaks free and frees the animals. Kill chain. Three strangers live um, inevitably entangled in a conflict none of them are prepared for. Running with the devil. The CEO of an international clom clom the word with C that has a bunch of letters um conglom cl conglomerate 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 no one uses that word conglomerate the CEO of an international conglomerate sends two of the most regarded executives to investigate why shipments of cocaine are being hijacked and overcut somewhere on the supply chain. Um, color out of space. A secluded farm is struck by a strange meteor which has apocalyptic consequences. <sighs> consequences for the family living there and possibly the world. I read the book. It's probably shouldn't have been made into a movie. Score to settle. An ex-enforcer for a local crime syndicate has vowed to enact re retribution on mob bosses after 19 year after 19 years of wrongful imprisonment. The only the only thing diverting his violent past from is a newfound relationship of his beloved son. Spider-Man into the Spider. If you don't know what this is, how are you alive? Like. I'm pretty sure everyone comes out the moon knowing this now, but a teen Miles Morales becomes Spider-Man of his universe and must join with five spider-powered individuals from other dimensions to stop stop the threat of all realities. Like, I remember when my hair went up instead of this way. <laughs> I could act. I could just cosplay as Miles if I wanted to, but. Not anymore. Between worlds, Joe meets his mom, who's a who can contact spirits while suffocating. Her daughter is dying when Joe helps his mother's spirit connect with her daughter and save her. Unfortunately, the spirit is in the daughter's body. It's now Joe's dead wife. I feel like I read that wrong. I like how even though I have editing software, I'm not going to use it. Um, Joe meets his mother who can contact spirits while suffocating. Her daughter is dying when Joe helps the mother spiritually connect with the daughter and save her. Unfortunately, the spirit in the daughter's body is now the spirit of that Joe's dead wife. That was Between Worlds. Teen Titans go to the movies this. I actually love this. I love this so much. It, hands down one of my favorite superhero movies of all time. Villainous maniacal plan for world domination sidetracks five teenage superheroes who dream of Hollywood stardom. And guess what Guess what role Nick Cage plays? S -S Superman. <laughs> 
he plays Superman. Like he was supposed to play in the 90s, and he couldn't fly in that Superman too. But here he is, tights and all, flying around. He's Superman. Um, two one one. While on a routine patrol, an agent cop and his partner and their ride along get caught in a standoff with band former mercenaries robbing a bank. Good premise. Could be done really good, maybe. Oof. Four point one, four point four on IMDb. That's a uh, yeah. Definitely could have um could have done been done really good, maybe. Um. Oh yeah. Listen to Ritz's filter. That's supposed to be quiet and silent. Yeah, as you can probably tell, I don't know. It's um not very quiet or silent. Looking glass. A couple by a mysterious. A couple by a desert motel where they find strange, mysterious events occur. That's Looking Glass. Um, Mandy. The enchanted lives of a couple in a secluded forest. Um, gets brutally shattered by a nightmarish hippie cult and their demon biking, biker henchmen propelling a man um, into a spiraling, surreal rampage of his vengeance. So it's here. Um, my head's itchy, so I'm not going to wear the hat. Dark. A government agent must track down all and kill a terrorist before he loses his full memory from dementia. The Humanity Bureau. A dystopian thriller set in the year 2030. That's not a real year. <laughs> uh, that sees the world in a permanent state of economic recession, facing serious environmental problems as a result of global warming. 2030. <laughs> um, Mom and Dad. A teenage girl and her younger brother must survive a wild 24 hours during which mass hysteria of unknown origins causes parents to violently turn on their own kids. There we go. I keep looking at the camera over here and then it's like boing. I'm like, no, I don't like that. I don't I don't like that at all. Even though we got this unicorn horn up here. That's not going away. Close enough. Um Inconceivable. A mother looks at her past. A mother looks to escape her abusive past by moving to a new town where she befriends another mother who grows suspicious of her. Alright, let's play a game. Um, it's too far. It's too far in this, this time. I'm, I'm not even going to worry about using that in software anymore. It was probably just for that opening bit. Maybe shorter videos, but... Let's play a game. This shell is copper, um, right here. This is copper. She'll come out in a bit. She was just getting up. 
She's a little shy. Whoa. But yeah, not 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 copper right now. This is chocolate Kit Kats and some um, that I've had since uh, like three weeks before school let out. It's all expired. I was going to give it to John because he gave me a fucking celery pancake. Who the fuck does that? Sick, sick human being. That's who. Um. Every time a Nicolas Cage movie mentions the past, I eat one. You know what? Half. I eat half. I, I still have some. I see. Do you just not want to come out? Alright, I'll put you back. Not Copper didn't want to come out, so best boy in the anime is here, Mako. See him right there. And uh, so oh, he's there. He's very social. Take a look. Oh, don't do it. Don't go over there, otherwise I'm gonna have to pull you really fast. Don't. Let's see. There's Mako. Come out for internet fame. Here we go. Vengeance, a love story. A group of strangers come to the aid of a single mother seeking to bring her rapist justice. Arsenal. A southern mobster attempts to rescue his kidnapped brother. Army of One. Um, after a personal visit by God himself, an eccentric construction worker, Gary Funk Funkner, Faulkner, whatever, takes the um, the decision to embark on an adventure in the Badlands of Pakistan to bring Al Qaeda's le uh, leader Osama bin Laden to justice. Whatever, it's, I I said it good enough. USS Indianapolis, men of courage. During World War II, an American Navy ship is sunk by the Japanese submarine, leaving. 890 crewmen stranded in shark-infested waters. Snowden. Mm. The NSA's illegal surveillance techniques are leaked to the public by one of the agency's employees, Edward Snowden, in the form of thousands of classified documents distributed to the press. Goddamn hero is what he is. Uh, dog eat dog.
The crew of um, ex-cons are hired by Cleveland Mafioso to kidnap the baby of a rival mobster. The Trust. A pair of props investigate a drug invasion stumble upon a mysterious bank vault. How you get a mysterious bank vault, I don't know, because where are you going to keep that bank vault? They, they don't just appear. Pay the ghost. A professor frantically searches for his son who was abducted during a Halloween carnival. The runner is in the aftermath of a 2010 BP oil spill. I remember that. I was seven. <laughs> um, an, ide an idealistic but flawed politician is forced to com confront his dysfunctional life after a career gone destroyed um, in a sex scandal. <laughs> Ah, uh, sure, this one work. I should have this on hand for whenever, whenever a past thing comes up. Uh, dying of the light. When devastating illness threatens to end Evan Lake's career in the CIA, he goes rogue to hunt down a terrorist who tortured him during a mission gone awry 20 years ago. Past. <laughs> Why can't people live in the present? I hate this. Left behind. Small group of survivors. Left behind after millions of people suddenly vanish around the world is plunged into chaos and destruction. Um, outcast. A mysterious uh, warrior teams up with the daughter and son uh, of a disposed Chinese emperor to defeat the cruel brothers who seek their deaths. It's right in the back of my mouth. Like, the rest of it. When the daughter of a reformed crim- God damn it. <sighs> Rage. When the daughter of a reformed cr criminal is kidnapped, he rounds up his old crew and seeks his own brand of justice. Fucking hate Kit Kat beforehand too. Love Amber for the gift, but hate Kit Kat. Joe. <laughs> uh. Next con, next con who um, whose son like role model meets a 15 year old boy and is faced with the choice of redemption or ruin. I feel like I didn't take that serious. Joe is about an ex con who's the unlikely role model of um, meets a 15 year old boy and is faced with the choice of redemption or ruin. All right, yeah, I read that correct. Don't do what I'm doing. It's it's four in the morning. I'll stop when I get tired. But you know what else Joe is? <laughs> Your mother. <laughs> Joe Mama. Crudes. I actually like this movie. Like, 
that whole scene. Wait. Yeah, that didn't have the past. Oh, thank Jesus. <laughs> My left eye hurts a bunch, but yeah. I actually like The Cruise a lot. It was a good movie. <sighs> After the cave is destroyed, a, fam a cave family uh, must track through unfamiliar, fantastical world to help an inventive boy. The frozen ground. I can't do this anymore. No, no, no. No, I, I, I just can't do that. I can't do that at all. An Alaskan state trooper partners with a young woman who escapes the clutches of her serial killer, Robert Hansen, to bring the murderer to justice. This is based off true events. Stolen. A former thief frantically searches for his missing daughter who was kidnapped and locked in the trunk of a taxi. Ghost Rider, Spirit of Vengeance. Johnny Blaze, tortured by the Ghost Rider curse, gets, a, gets his chance at redemption through protecting the devil's son, whose father is pursuing him. Why would the, devi why would the devil not invest in condoms, first of all? This didn't need a sequel. Why? Who who would willingly see big horn demon Satan and say, "Oh yes, please"? And four. Why weren't there any more guys like head cannon, head cannon, daddy devil? <laughs> Satan's a delf. I'm going to mega hell. <laughs> Trespass. Um, as, as they're held for ransom, a husband and wife's predicament uh, grows more dire amid the discovery of betrayal and deception. I'll read that again because that didn't sound enthusiastic. As they're held for ransom, a husband and wife's predicament grow more and more dire. His discovery, betrayal, and deception. Seeking justice. Seeking justice. After his wife is assaulted, the husband enlists the service of a vigilante group to help him settle the score, and they discover they want a favor for, from him in return. Where do you even fucking find vigilante groups? Like, where? Are they just hanging outside a Walmart? Signed, hey, we're a vigilante group. Pick us up. We'll do it for free or for money. Don't worry. Don't 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 worry, officer. We have a permit. <laughs> I'm I'm laughing at my own jokes. Maybe you're laughing too. Drive angry. Eventual father escapes from hell and chases after a man who killed his daughter and kidnapped his granddaughter. Season of the Witch. 14th century knights transport a suspected witch to a monastery where monks deduce her power could be the source of the Black Plague. I feel like that could actually be a good movie, though. <laughs> I know what I'm doing for my birthday. If you're invited, we're watching Nicolas Cage movies. Like... Uh, I would say a good 70% of this party is going to be in, like, this area, this room. Um, and we're going to watch Nicolas Cage movies on this computer. And then we're going to play Monopoly. Then we're going to my field, the one I, the one I really like. Um, I'm considering a Nerf War, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe it'll be a card war. Maybe it'll just be... I don't fucking know. A tag or some. I don't, I don't know. I just want to go to the field with my friends. And, um... Then... We'll go buy some stupid shit or something. Um... 
hang on like two seconds. Alright, alright, we're back. Um, Susan of the Witch. Yeah, I read that. So the Sorcerer's Apprentice, I'm starting to get tired. Uh, Balthazar Blake, who names their kid Balthazar, first off. Um, an apprentice of the legendary magician Merlin must train his old teacher's successor. And for an introverted but resourceful physics prodigy and the art of sorcery to, vent, to prevent the return of Morgan Le Fay. I'm a magic treehouse kid. Morgan Le Fay was a good guy. Even though everything else says she was pure evil, Morgan Le Fay was a good guy. You can't change my mind. I will not stand for the. I will not stand for the besmirchment of her honor, <laughs> which I clearly couldn't say. But yes, whatever. Kick ass, Dave Lizin. Look, I always pronounce it Lizinski, even though it's Lewinsky. Liz. L i z e w s k k i. K i k i. Um, I read the book. Every issue just got better. It, it, it's you always expect it to get worse, but like issue one, bang, solid, solid seven. Issue two, bang, solid nine. Issue three, fucking eleven, right there, and it's all out of ten. <laughs> um, but Dave becomes an unnoticed high school student and comic book fan and one day he decides to be a superhero even though he has no powers or training or meaningful reason to do so. The movie, it took some liberties, but it was all around a pretty okay movie. Definitely worth it. Astro Boy. When an android replica of a boy is rejected by his um, aggravated creator, he goes off to find his own identity an adventure that would make him the greatest hero of his time. I vaguely remember seeing that movie twice. Bad Lieutenant, Port Call, Port of Call, New Orleans. Bad Lieutenant, Port of Call, New Orleans. Have enough name, have enough letters in it? Yeah. I, I messed up the insult. Wow. Great job, Jay. Terrence McDonough is a drug and gambling. Is that an I? That is an L. That's an L. Terrence McDonough. McDonough. Terrence McDonough is a drug and gambling adult uh, detective in post Katrina New Orleans investigating the killing of five Sengalese uh, immigrants. Drinking that was a horrible idea. G Force. <laughs> I remember this. Um. A specially trained squad of guinea pigs is dispatched to stop a diabolical billionaire from taking over the world. Knowing. MIT professor John Colster links a mysterious list of numbers from a time capsule to the past and future disasters and is set out to prevent the ultimate catastrophe. <laughs> Bangkok Dangerous. A hitman who's in Bangkok pulls off a series of jobs and violates his personal code when he fall when he falls for a local woman and bonds with his errand boy. Now that's by representation. <laughs> Watch that be entirely wrong. Um, National Treasure Book of Secrets. Benjamin Gates must follow a clue left by left by um left in John Wilkes Booth's diary to prove his ancestors' innocence in the assassination of Abraham Lincoln. I remember seeing that once, and, um, there was this guy, I think his name was John Wilkes Booth Jr., 
he slipped on a rock, and that was the last we saw of him. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. The poster for it looks like they just got Nicolas Cage doing this with a torch, and, um, and then they Google searched a bunch of images. Um, there's Mount Rushmore, Big Ben, the Eiffel Tower, um, Capitol Hill, some boats, and um, the Statue of Liberty. They just put it in a, um, not a Word doc. I want to say a Word doc because I used to always do this in a Word doc. They just pasted the pictures there randomly, added some fire at the bottom of it, <laughs> lit the torch on fire, and made the hand CG, and that's that's the entire poster. <laughs> they said, my job here is done, you can have this, I'm going home, and they just never came back. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, uh, National Treasure Book of Secrets. Next is next. Next is a uh, Las Vegas magician who can see into the future, pursued by an FBI agent seeking to use his power and, and abilities to prevent nuclear terrorist attacks. Werewolf Woman of the SS. Oh, that, the SS. The SS. <laughs> uh, Rob Zombie Rob Zombie's fake trailer for Grindhouse is a setup of um, 1970s ne Nazis, Nazis politician, Nazi plotation. That's the word. That's the word. That's the word. That's the word. Nazi plotation. Rob Zombie's fake trailer for Grindhouse is a send-up of 1970s Nazi exploitation films. Nazi exploitation, judging by the word, is the expect expo exp exploiting Nazis and um, Nazi imagery. Like, um, oh, I big bad as a Nazi. Oh, so that means we're, we're automatically bad, and so forth. They did the same thing with black people in the 70s. Black exploitation. Seeing it now, it just makes me angry because like why we're already fucking badasses but like you don't need to be like Whoa. this is this is already down my system and I have the keys power now forever it's just annoying exploiting people for film and profit I was going to say something grindhouse um, wait a minute. This was another thing. <laughs> um, I think, maybe. Maybe, I don't know. Grindhouse. Quentin Tarantino and Robert, um, Rodriguez's homage, uh, to exploitation, exploitation double features in the 60s and 70s with two back-to-back -back cult films that include previews of the coming attractions between them. So it's a double movie. My brain is turning off just very slowly. Ghost Rider. When a motorcycle rider Johnny Blaze sells his soul to the devil to save his father's life, um, he's transformed into Ghost Rider, the devil's own bounty hunter. And sent to hunt him down hunt down sinners the wicker man um the sheriff investigating the disappearance of a young girl from a small island discovers there's a larger mystery to solve among the island's um secretive neo-pagan community i know someone who's a neo-pagan paganist or whatever world trade center Two Port Authority police officers become trapped under the rubble of the World Trade Center. The Ant Bully. This used to be my favorite movie when I was like six or seven. Um, after Lucas Nickel, he had a last name. This kid had a last name. 
He had a last name. Wow. I, I, I'm in shock. Like, absolute shock. His name was always Lucas. Just Lucas, not Lucas Nickel. Wow. Um, after Lucas Nickel floods an ant colony with his water gun, he's magically shrunk down to this to an insect size and is sentenced to hard labor in the ruins. The Weatherman. A Chicago weatherman separated from his wife and children debates whether professional and personal success are mutually exclusive. Um, Lord of War. An arms dealer confronts the morality of uh, his work as he's being chased by Interpol agent um, National Treasure. The histor a historian races to find the legendary Templar treasure before a team of mercenaries. Matt Stickman, a phobic con artist um, and his protege are on the verge of pulling off a lucrative swindle when the former teenage when the former's teenage daughter arrives unexpectedly. The former the latter. Former latter Alright. Had was was making sure. I definitely know which one's which. Adaptation. They unironically have for his you, you gotta see this. You, you gotta see this. Nicholas Cage plant. They unironically have a Nicholas Cage potted plant face. I need twenty of those, like right now. I don't. I don't even have twenty plants. I have that one way over. You, you can barely. You can barely see the sign sticking up. I have that one, I have a cactus right there, and then some things of dirt that have, that supposedly have seeds in it, but, you know, we all know that's a lie. I need Nicolas Cage potted plant. <laughs> um, adaptation. Lovelorn screenwriter, screenwriter becomes desperate and tries to adapt and fails to adapt um, The Orchard Thief by Suzanne Orleans on screen. So Sonny. Hey, Nicolas Cage directed this. Um, Sonny, an, honor an honorably discharged soldier, returns home to New Orleans, hoping to break, up break away from his upbringing um, as a trained prostitute. But his brothel madam mother has other expectations. That whole sentence, that whole description was a ride, like, from start to finish. <laughs> you know what? One more time. One more time, just because this movie's, this movie, I, I need to see this. We're watching this movie if you're coming to my birthday. <laughs> it's an hour 50 minutes. We got time. An honorary dis an honorably discharged soldier returns home to New Orleans, hoping to break away from his upbringing as a trained oh, as a trained prostitute. I thought he was turning into a trained prostitute. Never mind, we're not watching this movie. Um, but his brothel madam mother has other expectations. I thought it was like um, I I quit the army. I'm going to be a hoe now, and like that was going to be the movie. But I guess not.
that sounded really wrong and I'm just now realizing that. Don't do prostitution ever. It's going to lead to a very bad life. Um, and I don't mean to make fun of it at all. I backed myself into a corner here, I see. Um... I, I can't talk my way out of this one. <laughs> uh... W wind talkers. Two U.S. Marines in World War II are designed are assigned to protect Navajo Marines who use their native language as an unbreakable radio cipher. I remember that was one of the few things Dad actually taught me that made sense. Well, that I actually already under not uh, already knew that I already. That was one of the few things Dad told me that I never knew before. Christmas Carol the movie. Old bitter. Um, mis miser, whatever. Old bitter miser, Ebenezer Scrooge, who makes excuses for all his uncaring nature, learns real compassion when three ghosts visit him on Christmas Eve. Um, Captain, Cro Captain Crowley's mandolin. Yeah, Captain Crowley's mandolin. Uh, when a fisherman leaves to fight the Greek army during World War II, his fiance falls in love with uh, the local Italian commander. The family man. Not to be confused with family guy. <laughs> you, you see what I did there. Um, as a fast lane investment broker offered the opportunity to see other halves of lives wakes up to find a sports car and girlfriend to have become a minivan and wife. Gone in 60 seconds. I don't remember his name. He was my English teacher last year. Um. He. He was quoting this movie. He was quoting this movie, and I vaguely understood it. I had my sh I had this shirt on, and then he walked over to me and said, "Come on, you should know this," <laughs> and I didn't know it. And then he told me this movie, and I'm like, "God damn it, I should know this." But yeah, gone in 60 seconds. A retired master thief, master car thief, must come back to the industry to steal 50 cars with his crew in one night to save his brother's life. And right now. We're almost, we're almost seeing the, to, um, barely seeing all the titles instead of just fucking IMDb squares. Bring out the dead. Hunted by patience, he failed to save. Haunted by patience, he failed to save. Um, a momentary burn, burned out. Um, Manhattan ambulance paramedics fight to maintain the sanity over three increasingly turbulent turbulent nights. I didn't read that good. Haunted by patience, he failed to save a m moment, a mon, a monumentally burned out Manhattan ambulance paramedic fights to maintain his sanity over three increasingly turbulent nights. Oh uh, yeah. Oh yeah, birthday party people were watching this too. 8 mm, 8 mm or 8 mm a uh, private investigator is hired to discover if a snuff film is authentic or not that's a horrible job like a terrible horrible job to have god damn it my right eye too like it hurts to blink it hurts to blink Um, Snake Eyes. The poster says Cage Snake Eyes, but, you know, Snake Eyes. Not the one that came out recently. Uh, a shady police detective finds himself in the middle of a murder conspiracy at a boxing match in Atlantic City Casino. City of Angels. An angel on Earth, a doctor unable to believe, a patient with a secret... A love story made in heaven.
made in heaven. Um, maybe I'll add a thing right here. Um, where it says made in heaven's ability. It's a parts explorer. But everyone knows it. Face off. We're almost done. We got after this we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine. Which seems like a lot, but there was a hundred and six of these. <laughs> uh, face off. To foil a terrorist plot, an FBI agent goes under, goes face plant, face facial transplant surgery to assume the identity of the criminal mastermind who <sighs> murdered his only son, son, but wakes up prematurely and seeks revenge. Or John Travolta and Nicolas Cage swap faces, one being an FBI agent, one being a crime lord. Con Air. We're also watching this one, birthday people. A uh, newly paroled ex-con and former U.S. Ranger Cameron Poe finds himself trapped in a prisoner transport plane when um, the passenger sees control. The Rock. A mild-mannered chemist and an ex-con must lead Counter-Strike when a rogue group of uh, military men um, led by a renegade general threatened a nerve gas attack from Alcatraz against San Francisco. I always loved the word renegade. <sighs> My fucking eye. But yeah, I always loved the word renegade. It's like... fucking fun. Um... Leaving Las Vegas. Ben Sanderson, a Hollywood screenwriter who lost everything because of his alcoholism, arrives in Las Vegas to drink himself to death. There, he meets and forms an uneasy friendship uh, and non fearing pact with the prostitute Sarah. And they spelt Sarah weird. It's, they spelt it S E R A. Um, kiss of Death. Are formed con. Jesus Christ, this could be a drinking game. The past or convicts, or a daughter. Any one of those three, you take a drink. <laughs> a formed convict goes undercover to help with an angry detective to ensnare a psychotic mobster. Trapped in paradise. Residents of a friendly Pennsylvania town for three brothers plan to rob bank. Uh, Christmas Eve. It could happen to you. A police promises to share his lottery ticket with um, a waitress in lieu of a tip. Guarding Tess. Former U.S. First Lady wants a particular Secret Service agent to head her bodyguard detail even though he can't stand her. Deadfall. <sighs> Deadfall. When Joe loses his dad in a sting, he contacts his dad's twin, Lou, well, Lau, who was, um, who has a major sting planned. Lau's helper feels threatened by Joe, <laughs> uh, who, who's conning who. You can read the names! You can read the names of the movies now and it's not IMDb but not. Uh. <laughs> Red Rock West. Upon arriving in a small town, a drifter is mistaken for a hitman, but when the real hitman arrives, Complications ensue. Amos and Andrew. Um, I was just going to read the title. That's not what this is. Amos and Andrew. Um, 
The poster says at theaters this February, and there's no spacing. Well, there's spacing, but it's very small. It's in theaters, and that gives me so much anxiety, you have no idea. Um, Amos and Andrew. Uh, well, not really anxiety, I just want to fix it. It's irritating, I guess. Amos and Andrew. Uh, Pulsey Pride, Prize, uh, Rider buys a cabin. Neighbors get suspicious when a stranger breaks in. Say they see a black man. Call the police. They start shooting at it. It's <laughs> 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 fucking. That's a fucking me right there. That's. <laughs> um. Shooting at him, the sheriff tries to cover it up by in by involving a white petty crook. Bad idea. <laughs> they knew what they were doing. <laughs> they knew what they were doing. This movie was 1993. It's ahead of its time. We're watching this, too. Hold, hold on. 150. I forgot how long the other one was. 150. Let's say 152. Plus 1... 36. I'll do the math later. No time like the present. No, no, I did this wrong. Six, two, and then that's two, not one. That's two and one. Two, it's three, four, five. I'm guessing that whole that other movie that we go and watch, Con Air, one other one, and this one, the total would be five hours and twenty six minutes. Math genius. Um, honeymoon in Vegas. Jack loses sixty-five thousand dollars in poker in Las in Las Vegas, where where he's marrying Betsy. The wedding will have to wait as the poker winner wants the weekend with Betsy to cancel the debt. She accepts. Whom will she marry? Um, Zandladi. No. Zand Ali. Zandali. I want to say Zandali D. Dazzle Die or something. I don't know. Some fun word like that. Zand. Zandla. Zandali. 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 Um. Theory's wife, Zandali, married the poet he once was. Uh, taking over his dad's company in New Orleans, um, gives him stress. That's daughters, past, ex-convicts, and um, fuck, what was it? New Orleans. That was it. Ow! All of those part of the drinking game. Um, New Orleans gives him stress and impotence. There he meets his high school buddy, Johnny, at a bachelor party. The painter, Johnny, can satisfy Zandlady. No, oh, so it's a sex film. That's very fun. So much unnecessary sex in movies. Wow, that must make it so great. Sex just makes the whole audience be like, Oh, they did a sex. That's so cool. That's so cool. It makes me so happy. It makes me so happy watching these attractive people do the sex. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, they did it. Very cool. Wow. That means I could do it too. Hey, hey, buddy. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, do you want to do the sex like the people did in the movie? No, no. Aw, that sucks. I'll do it myself then. That's... That's that's what the studios want, right? Like, whatever. That, that's what they 
things will happen. I, I don't fucking know. I, what, I don't know what I'm saying. You, you should know by the stammering. I, I don't know what I'm saying. Um, industrial. Industrial Symphony Number no. One: The Dream of the Broken Hearted. The performer, the performer of the of Twin Peaks theme, Julia Cruz. Um, well, Julie, Julie Cruz. It's experiment. The performer of the Twin Peaks theme, Julie Cruz, experiment concert film which opens with a short intro where a man breaks up with his girl over the phone which devastates her. The concert is set in her nightmarish subconscious mind. I had to read that as slow as my mind is thinking right now. Firebirds. Elite Apache helicopters, helicopter pilots are tasked with destroying pyre, powerful armed drug cartel operating in South America. Wild at heart. Now this is prime Nicolas Cage. His arms are hairy like a fucking werewolf right there. When I say they're hairy, I mean like, I wanna, uh, just chew the hair off. And is that Willem Dafoe? That's Willem Dafoe. <laughs> that makes me happy. Like, his his face. It's just... Young lover sailor and um, Luna run from the variety of weirdos that Luna's mom had hired to kill Sailor. That's such a fucking metal name too, Sailor. <laughs> like, your parents wanted to say Hunter or Fisher, and then, like, their drunk uncle just burst through the room. Hey there, my son, my, my, my nephew's name's Sailor now. And they're like, I guess. <laughs> and then the uncle just proceeds to take the baby by the heel, swing it around like a fucking uh, pocket wash in a um, hypnotist hand, just <laughs> and then just launches it out the window. The vodka ant catches it in a wine bottle, says, woo, let's go, tosses it back. <laughs> into the mom's arms and um if only you could see inside my head you'll you'll see a bunch of things burning and stuff like like um everything's on fire everything's moving slowly and quick and on fire and it's all so tiring and my eye hurts <sighs> oh this has an original title um, time to kill. In 1936, when Ethiopia is beginning, individual is be. In 1936, when Ethiopia is being invaded by the Italian army, Lieutenant Sylvie Silvestri uh, sets off for the nearest camp hospital um, to take care of a toothache. En route, he meets a young Ethiopian girl, which he leads to a tragic cor course of events that devastate and change his entire life. Original title, Tempo di Assiduity. Yeah, it's Italian, I don't fucking know. Um, never on Tuesday. After their cars collide on a desert highway in the middle of nowhere, two friends, a woman, and a woman, they both, uh, like, must wait for someone to pass by and help. Unfortunately, those who do stop turn out to be criminals, eccentrics, or wackos. Vampire Kiss. After encountering with a neckbiter, um, a publishing executive thinks that he's turning into a vampire. Moonstruck. Loretta Castrani. Castri. Castro. Rini. Castorini. 
Loretta Castorini, a bookkeeper from Brooklyn, New York, finds herself in a difficult situation when she falls for the brother of the man she agrees to marry. Raising Arizona When a childless couple of an ex-con um, decide to help themselves to, one, to another family's uh, I read that right, quintuplets. <laughs> um, their lives become more complicated than they anticipated. Uh, Peggy Sue got married. Or Peggy Sue, yeah, Peggy Sue got married. Peggy Sue faints at a high school reunion. When she wakes up, she finds herself in her own past just before she finished high school. I don't get the point of that. Like, just follow Peggy through high school up to marriage. It might be a little more sincere and endearing. Uh, the Boy in Blue, based on the life of um, Ned Holland, Holland in the late 19th century, Canadian scholar, world champion. Um, Holland was um, was one of the first scholars to utilize the sliding seat. Oh, it's a rowing movie. Uh, Birdie. After two friends return from the Vietnam War, one of them becomes mentally unstable and the other obsessed with being a bird. There's six left, including this one. I've never been so happy for the number six, and six is a fucking hell number. Um, the Cotton Club. Meet the jazz musicians, dancers, owner, and guest. E.G. Gangster Dutch Saltz, the of the Cotton Club in 1928 to the 1930s, Harlem. Racing with the Moon. In 1942, uh, two young men await induction into the U.S. Marines as they say goodbye to their girlfriends. Rumblefish. Absent mind three street thugs, Rusty James struggles uh, to live up his legendary older brother's reputation and longs for the days of uh, gang warfare. There's three left. Valley Girl. Um, Julie. A girl from the valley meets Randy, a punk from the city, where there are different words, worlds, um, and find love. Somehow they need to stay together, spite uh, of her tra of her trendy and shallow friends. Fast enough at um, Ridgemount High, a group of um, Southern California California high school students are enjoying their most important subjects. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. I do not like sex in movies. Like, a movie can be great without sex. And people just need to remember that. Or think on that. Like, fucking Spider-Verse could be great. Like, it is great. But don't... Yeah. Or whatever, you get it. Best of times. Look, look.
here it is. Here it is. In all of its glory. Off light. Maybe. Ah. It's like the Holy Grail. Do you see how many Nickies? Look how many Nickies! <laughs> Nicholas Cage's. <sighs> but yeah, this is the last one. Nicholas Cage. Here's the seven. Here's the lives of seven teenage friends in 1981, singing, dancing, and breaking the fourth wall. Um, there was one other guy who I wanted to do this for, but if he's too long, won't do it. It was David A. R. White, and there's 54 from. The question is, do I hate myself that much? Truth is, I don't know. Guess not. Guess not tonight. Anyway, that was it. was it um, do all the important stuff I guess and uh, hopefully I'll see you next time one final thing um, it's currently 449 two hours so far and I could have done this in the day that just now occurred to me Some loose time, I guess. Yeah. Bye. Post editing Jay here. Um, somehow managed to stay awake. The water is like life in my body. I suppose um, I should read out, well, say who this is dedicated to. This is dedicated to. Ella is a Amber Jackson, Lily too, um, Blake, Diana, um, Kumar, uh, Drew, and of course, Nicolas Cage himself. All hail, all hail, Nicholas Cage. Oh yeah, this is also for John Cody and Reagan and Charlie, but you know, mostly Nicholas Cage. See you in the next one.